Hi guys, if you've seen the previous episode, you'll know that I've been working on the Poundland uh, friction powered toy cars, pound each, a set of six of them. And I was saying I'd spotted a car, a radio controlled car in the range that looked identical. And today I finally managed to buy one. And the truth is, nah, they're not actually identical. That's the one that I'd spotted, and I thought it was the same as these. And at first glance, I was right. At first glance, they do look the same, but they're not. Obviously, that one's got a big rear fin on it, uh, but we could always glue one on here. Uh, the back is different, and it's got an extra bit on the front there so they're not identical but we'll still take that one out of the box and have a look at it I think you can see where I was looking at it and thinking they were the same so actually tell us which one this is no. It looks like it's another one where they don't actually want to tell you what car it's based on. Probably for um, copyright reasons. So it's 122nd scale racing. Yep, we'll get out of the box and have a look. I'm only talking about the actual body shell itself, I'm not talking about the radio control, because obviously the other ones weren't radio control, they were just um, push along, friction powered. Uh, well, we'll try it out first before we take it apart. Get that open. Cool, that's tight. Oh, that's because it's got a screw in it first. Three double A's. Uh, three double A's. One, two. They always give you dire warnings about mixing your batteries. They are sort of rubber tires, fairly hard. Rubber effect, I think, is the best thing to call them. Put that back on. Controller. that sort of soft flex flexible plastic rather than the brittle plastic okay looks like it'll work Right, on the floor. Oh, 
I may not have absolutely brand new batteries in there, so it might go a bit faster if we put fresh ones in. Okay, so it works. Now we'll take it apart and see if there's any chance of getting the hobby grade chassis in there. There's no on off button on there. Be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not identical to those ones. On the other hand, I do rather like the look of this, and I quite like the yellow. That's interesting. Aerial, aerial hole. It's on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> All right. What do you think? What's the chances? They don't look, those don't stick up as far. Nah. Okay, so my theory about it being the same car is completely wrong. What a shame. So, uh, where do we go from here? Well, you know what I could do, don't you? I could redesign the chassis so that I can make this one hobby grade. I need to reposition these fellas, these two and these two to line up with these ones. Could we actually swap the tyres over? Oh, that's a good point. Those wheels are significantly smaller, aren't they? see that there uh, probably two or three millimeters smaller diameter Well, annoyingly, front end we can shift those pillars back quite easily. The back end, those pillars, 
Uh, they're a bit too far that way. I, I can I can do it. They're just they just need working out. Yeah. Oh well. I reckon we might do that. We might have one more video in this series. Actually, there will be two more. Uh, one more to make this hobby grade, just for the sake of it. And the other video that I will be making for the series is I've got some rubber tires on order, or wheels with rubber tires, I should think. They'll be very similar to these ones. They'll be some sort of rubbery type of uh, tire sealed directly onto the plastic rims because I don't think these will come off. I think they're actually part of the moulding. So that'll do for today. That's answered the question, is that identical to that? Or to be more exact, identical to that? And the answer is no, it's not. They look the same at first glance, but they're not. There's several differences. I mean, that was the thing that was really catching my eye, that little hole back there for the aerial. I was looking at it and I'm thinking that all looks the same, but it's not. It's a different Audi, obviously. Somebody's going to tell me in the comments which one it is, but it's a different one different to that. Yeah, that'll do for now. I'll redesign that chassis, see if we can fit it in there. That'll be another episode, and there'll be another episode on the original Poundland series, when the parts arrive from AliExpress. I just remembered, I may have forgotten to say, this car was £3.99 at the range. So cheap, cheap and cheerful. And as somebody's already pointed out on a picture I showed of this car, that's wrong. I don't know if you can see that. Let's just check we're in focus. That says turn left right when it's pointing to the forwards backwards and that says forwards reverse when it's pointing to the left right thanks for watching if you want more information check down below in the video description if you like this video you might like this one up here and if you want to subscribe you can check out my channel over here up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.